And now, we'd like to feature... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Indigenous round of Rugby League. Welcome to the Red Hot Underdog. Um, this is your official welcoming ceremony. You are always welcome here. No need for a welcoming ceremony, Drewy, because we are here to entertain you for the next 40 minutes. I'm Anzac, and with me tonight is the ever-incredible long-contained of an imitated and never duplicated. Please put your hands together, everybody, for Drewy. Hey, buddy. Welcome to the podcast that is easily the lowest hanging fruit on the tree. Mm. Glad you can join us, everybody. And where would you like to start today? Uh, yeah, well, I, I was thinking um, boxing. I mean, I mean, I know we got a yeah. man win, but I, yeah. I feel like, uh, you know, I, I when we spoke on the phone a couple of days, I, I feel like we need a bit of a aftermath, you know, like, okay. you know, it's been a week since Tyson yeah. lost um, and it was yeah. 6-1. A few people commented that um, we didn't talk about, um, say, Tyson's post-match comment. Um, yeah. Not not in the um, in the. I know uh, what you mean. Afterwards, yeah. straight after, yeah. where they stick a mic in your face and mm -hmm. and you know he said he thought he won it, and he said that you know Usyk won because he's from a war-torn country which didn't go down yeah. well. um i mean what do you think <laughs> it didn't go look it didn't go down well yeah. here's my opinion of it you know i don't mind the theater and the controversy and the excuses and yeah. the sore losers and the good winners and that i embrace it all because you know what i don't want the same pre-packaged cookie cutter Vanilla answers all the time. It wouldn't yeah. make our sport very interesting. Yeah. Did he do the right thing in saying it? Probably not. But mm. you know what? I'll also counterpunch that argument. Now, I'm not making an excuse for Tyson. Yeah. But one thing that people never, ever take into consideration, again, I'm not saying it was the right thing to say because it clearly wasn't. Yeah. But one thing people never take into consideration is, these guys have been punched in the fucking face yeah. at a fucking elite level yeah. and had 50 shades of shit knocked out of them for 36 minutes. And, and someone mic. shoves, mm. that, that's right, someone shoves a microphone in your face and you're still expecting them, you're still expecting the same accountability from them verbally as yeah. what you would if they were sober and were never hit in the face. They're not going to be as lucid as they were 36 minutes before they got punched in the head. Awesome. And people don't take that into consideration. They yeah. still want to hold them to the same gold standard of their answers. Yeah. But but so, really, the, the gold standard of Tyson was never that high. He said plenty of stupid shit before, but it, it seemed to be liked a bit more. And, and I think it's been a week and... You know, there's been more talk about how he's said, oh, yeah, I'm going to donate all this money to charity and never did. And so there's a, there's a lot of shit talking that's come to the surface a bit more. That's what I think. I've, I've been watching his yeah. videos and YouTube on it, and it just feels like there's more there's more people getting on the bandwagon of, of he's a wanker, you know? Yeah, uh, and that, that's that's fine. I don't think that he's there to please the masses. Yeah. I don't think he wants to. I think the writing is on the tin for who he is. He's yeah. bipolar. He's Jekyll and Hyde. He's yeah. East and West. He's yeah. Coke versus Pepsi. Yeah. That's what you're going to get, okay. you know. And people just want, you know, all these different standards. But you know what? It all sells because guess what? We're talking about it. Yeah. They're talking about it. People are getting their tampons in a twist. Yeah. And, yep. you know, guess what? It keeps, There's a lot of twisted it keeps tampons. keeps the name of boxing yeah. in the public eye, doesn't it? Really? It really does. Uh, so, so it's, It really does. Yeah. There's, um, he's rustled feathers by saying that. 
because um, yeah. yeah. It, firstly, it's not true. Like he he lost no. fair and square. Richie did. She was knocked out. Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. But would watch that and say Tyson won. Um, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. We could, but um, it, it is a common thing. And, you know, like, for example, remember when um, Tim Zhu lost and it was yeah. bullshit because, you know, he got cut and all the blood and he couldn't see, yet he was the opposite to Tyson, like gave credit to the other boxer and was a gentleman. I mean, maybe, yes. you know, which is good and all creditable, but... He had a yeah, reason yeah, yeah. to act like a dickhead and yeah. say fucking bullshit. The fight should have been stopped, and and he didn't. So I mean, what's better to to lose, you know? And you could have complained and not, or to lose and you mm. should have complained and then act like a a, a dick like Tyson. Um, definitely get some talking, and as you said, uh, tampons are in knots everywhere. Yeah, you know what? I take a different tact to a lot of people. Mm. I love the trash talk. Yeah. I love the he said, she said and everything. I'm not really too worried about whether people are good sportsmen afterwards or not. <laughs> yeah. I'm all about the result. Yeah. I don't care about the emotional nuances of things. Yeah. I love the theatre. I love the drama. I love the spanners in the works. I love the storm of everything. I don't care about whose feelings got hurt or whose didn't or who shook whose hand. I just care about who wins and who doesn't. Uh, not to, Not from an emotional point of view, but from a legacy point of view, from a historical point of view of boxing. So I can look at people's resumes, see how great they were, see what they weren't. All the other things for me is just an afterthought. But if people want to indulge in that, I don't mind if they want to. That's them and that's good for them and they've got a right to. There's, there's no right answer if, if you like diving into all of that emotional preamble you're more than welcome to that's not really my bag but i don't dislike you if it is either anyway it's about personal preference so he lost he yeah. didn't accept it but the good news is he's going to fight again and there's good there's going to be it's going to be even bigger if the if it happens oh, it'll be huge yeah. and you know what the ironic thing is People get all their tampon in a twist over it, but guess what? Yeah. For as wrong as it was for him to possibly make those comments, yeah. all of which I don't really give a shit about, guess what? It hypes up the next fight oh, to a whole new level. It really has, hasn't it? Like, people... If he had have just gone, oh, the better man won, congratulations yeah. to him. Again, I'm not justifying his actions. Yeah. It wouldn't be as big. Yeah. Now everyone will want to see him lose even more. Everybody, there's 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 a, a yes. tsunami of people that want to mm. see him lose, you know. And and on the other on the on victim. the other side of the coin, really, it's sorry, on the other side. Yeah, yeah, it's victim. It's like yeah. Ukraine is the yeah. victim, you know? It's the victim yeah. rising up and winning and the and the British, you know, like I know he's a fucking gypsy, you know, mm. shit talking gypsy. Mm. It's mm. still yeah. Anyway, you're saying something, the other what? Oh, no, but I was going to say the other side of the coin for that, because it's good on two counts. You see, you've got the people that want to see him lose now even more because they don't like his disrespectful comments. And then you've got certain Fury fans that really want to see him win yeah. so that they can rub it into the people who didn't like it and yeah. say, suck shit, he can still talk like a punk and win. Yeah, so, and you, you, definitely, you know, you've got two yeah. different camps, you know. It's, it, it makes everything more interesting. Fury's got an enormous chance of winning come October. Enormous. He, he can... I still give or seek yeah. the favouritism, though. But, yeah, he's still got a big chance. That that fight was razor, razor, razor close. Yeah. I'm going to give favouritism. It's going to be for Usyk. But both of them still have a hell of a shot. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, yeah. October, can't wait. Please yeah. make it happen, you know? Absolutely, make absolutely. We don't want this to fizzle out mm. and people to get hurt. Mm. We don't want Tyson Joshua. Sure, I would like to see that, but just not now, yeah. you know? No, later on, that can later wait on. down the pecking order. Yep. Let's yep. get all this sorted out first. 
about. And the rugby league. Rugby well, uh, league. Yeah. Or, or do you want to talk about Manly? Or we actually had a sacking during the week in Brad <laughs> Arthur. Yeah, we did. Parramatta, they got mm. good old uh, Trent Barrett. What a fucking an interim coach. <laughs> Mate, I've never seen a coach lose so many jobs and then fall ass backwards into another one. Yeah. It's uh it's ridiculous. He's like the walking four leaf clover, this guy. He really but, is. Uh, yeah, yeah, but he really is did para lost this weekend to the bunnies, mm. which are bottom oh, of the no. table. And bottom of the table yeah. well have double the points against them as well. So I mean, was that just a sign of you know, the management and chaos, or that's just Trent Barrett just being at fault, you know? Listen, if I was a game show host, I would probably introduce this scenario as, guess what, Parramatta fans? You lose a coach this week, but guess what? We're going to replace him with a guy that's even worse. Woohoo! And that's exactly what's happened. And yeah. for the record... I don't think Brad Arthur is that bad a coach. And no. any coach that gets a team to a grand final at least once in their tenure yeah. is a bona fide, decent coach. Yeah. I'm not going to say he's an elite coach, yeah. but, yes, he's certainly a first-class coach. Uh, the thing is, I think for the Eels, it was more of a case of them being a side that hasn't won a premiership since 1986. Yeah. So Brad Arthur's been there for 10 years now. Yep. And I think that they're so desperate to win a premiership. Let's face it, Parramatta are going pretty rubbish. Rubbish. And I just think they thought the time is now. I think the grand final appearance in 2022 bought him extra time. I think if they hadn't have made the grand final that year, then he probably would have gone last year. But I think that really bought him an extra year and a bit. Gone. gone. Uh, so, yeah. Look, but look, let's get on to the even better news, you know. Mm. And Manly, um, yes. I finished work and then I actually got given by given four tickets uh, by a, a super mum called Lauren. So shout out to Lauren. Mm. So much. Yes. That's in my yes. car right there with Claudio. And we caught, yeah. I've never done this before. I caught the yeah. last 30 minutes of the match. So I got in there right at the end. Uh, wow. Okay. You remember back in the day, you'd go see a manly match. And if you couldn't afford it, you'd just go in at half yeah. time. It'd be free. Half time. It's yeah. free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's yeah. not free. Uh, but having yeah, yeah, yeah. I did have the tickets and nobody checked my ticket. I just walked in. Um, yeah. But technically, it's not. Well, at least you got to see some of it. I got to see it was all great. of it from the comfort of my own home. But well, at least you got to see them. But you were there. You I could tell you smell what. the grass. You and could you feel the, the sweat come yeah. off the players. People, yeah. we're, we're front row. Like, great, great, mm. fans, so to speak. Like, mm. right flat, yeah. right in the corner. Um, and when um, Melbourne were, were doing that assault to try and score, to level the scores mm. out in the last, say, 10 mm. minutes or so, where yeah, hearts just jumping out, we had perfect view, you know, like it was great. Yes. Exciting. Yes. Um, but i got to yeah. say too, um, and this is probably not the right thing to say, you know, watching it on your phone compared to being yes. there and watching it, maybe because I've got shit eyes or a shit eye, but nothing yeah. beats watching it on TV. Is that okay to say that? Like, I know you don't get the atmosphere, but, geez, it's good to watch it on TV. Oh. I just... A hundred percent. Sorry. I I sit, sorry. Yeah, I sit down there with a cold drink, some popcorn and peanut M&Ms, and they have the best camera angle best. anywhere in the world. All the camera angles are great. You get the replays. Yep. You got a warm house on, well, close to a winter's night. We're only a few days away, it's and it's winter, just awesome. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it's awesome. when you're out there, you do get the 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 sounds, the people. The, yeah, like, that's true. Lots of young people, there... there, which I liked. I really liked. Lots of young, mm. young girls, young guys, all into Manly. Half of them aren't even watching it. They're all like, 
chatting to each other and on stuff. their but phone yeah. and TikTok and yeah, yeah, yeah I got you. Yeah, they're there. But listen, it was a good game. Great uh, game. The Great thing game. is, yep. Oh mate, I, it's, it's, it's still it's still a heart attack and a punish. Yeah. Yeah. To get through a manly game. We held it's... on to a lead. We were 12 nil up. Yeah. I just yeah, thought, yeah. oh, fuck. Here we go again. Being, yeah. Being being a manly supporter and watching a manly game is like a 96-year-old trying to get through a 24-piece bucket of KFC yeah. without a heart attack. Yeah. So we raced out to that 12 nil lead. And then I'm like, oh, here we go again. Yep. Here we go, like, oh, welcome to freaking Groundhog Day again Groundhog. and again and again and again. Yep. And 12 6 at half time. Yep. A few back and forths in the second half, a few tries here and there. And then thankfully we won 26 20. And as you said, the thing I was most impressed with was thank God we held them out for that last three minutes yeah. on our line. It almost felt like the person in the Bunker was ringing that six again bell just yeah. to see Melbourne take it to extra time. I'm like, could you stop ringing that fucking yeah. bell? Yeah. I'm like, if I was in at that ground, I would have found that box, kicked my way into the door, yep. and shot them with a Magnum 66 yeah. and just said, oh, I don't know if there's such a gun called a Magnum 66, but if there is, I would have used it. But yeah, thank God we won. Jesus. Ice cream, Magnum sixty six, and an ice cream. That's all right. Yeah, I I think it's sixty four. You can tell I'm not a gun user. Anyway, uh, and the other thing, big shock this week. Not so much the winner, but the score. Panthers forty two, Sharks nil. Absolutely smashed them, hey. And we oh. were saying that that. That sharks are going to win that, and 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 yes, Manly beat Manly beat Panthers when we play them, and Manly play them after we've got a bye, and then we play Panthers. Mm. Uh, you know, yes, so that's good news. But the triangle, yeah. the triangle theory doesn't always work. Like just because you beat one team doesn't mean that you're going to beat. The next team who beat the other team. Yeah, I know. That's the but, triangles, but beat, but you know, it's not a one Panthers. size fits all. But yeah, we beat Panthers. You know. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But so, uh, again, oh it, mate, I, we, we just I, needed I a win, Drew. We needed a win. Yeah. It was three yeah, yeah, yeah. of close. Oh, up. thank God. Oh my we God, were... it was just. It, it was such. It was such a relief, yeah. and I got my blue pill night. It was such a relief. Yeah. But look. I just just briefly touch on the Panthers Sharks one. Yeah, we had every right to think that the Sharks would win that. They'd yep. come off consecutive wins against uh, the Roosters and the Storm, not yep. necessarily in that particular order. And then, or maybe it was, but the Roosters and the Storm anyway in their last two games. Storm Roosters, and they'd only lost one game all season. Mm. So you think. If the Panthers win, then it'll be close. Yeah. But yeah. 42. But I actually think that the Panthers, for the first time in a long time, were actually, well, probably in a couple of years, yeah. weren't favourite for a game. Yeah. yeah. And I think yeah. that really spurred them on. They're like, screw this. We're the big dick in town. Yeah. We've won the last three premierships. We're always favourite for games. Yeah. I know they've got all the momentum, but, hey, we're really going to show who Big Brother is. And yeah. they absolutely did. They carved them up. I was happy to see it, tell the truth. Mm -hmm. And also yeah. happy to see Mighty Titans be yes. Brisbane. Oh, how good is it? Hey. See, right. our Do It For Des segment yeah. has done wonders for Desi. Yeah. It yeah. spurred him on to greatness. I'm, look, we can't take all of the credit. We, we can take about 2%. <laughs> and then the 98% of the credit I'll give to Desi and the players, 98%, yeah. the rest yeah. of it. But, uh, yeah, 36 for 34. No, neither team, 36 to 34, neither team really cared much for defence. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, oh, gee. 
How, but this is what I'm loving about the Titans. You can actually actually see a path for them for yep. success. They just seem to hang into the game like a bloody nuisance. And when, they're when... like that uncle that, yeah, they're like the uncle that won't leave at the party. Like even an hour later, you're going, Oi, go out. The, you, you're trying to make hints, leave, yep. leave. And yep. then the Titans just hang on to dear life through each game. Yep. When, not, when they do lose, they only lose by a small margin. When Manly beat the Titans, um, you said, isn't it funny? We beat them, but you can just tell that they're not a bottom team. They're really not. No, they no. They don't deserve to be there. They, were, um, they, were, they didn't have a win then. And yeah. really proven that they mm. can be together. And, and that's not going to be the last win, you know? Like, no. I would be surprised if they put enough wins to cuz they they're still not far out of the 8 funny enough nobody nobody's far out of the 8 you know well they had a try disallowed against the knights that should have been a try so they should have had another two points and they had a case for another two points in a controversial game against canberra so mm. they could have had another two wins on the board so i think desi's done a pretty good job for them yeah he's done a good job and and when's the yeah. last time the uh, Gold Coast, Titans, Seagulls, whatever you want to call them, have yeah. done well? And the answer's never, you know? Have they? they yeah. Over the, you know, the, the decades have been around, right? You know? Yeah. They're, they're a bit of that special kid that's colouring in Superman's cape while everyone else is doing four-unit chemistry. So, yeah. but, you know, there are... Uh, they're on the improve, yeah, and they're actually starting to look like a bit of a player for the future. There, there's there's a fair bit of upside for the Titans. They're they're becoming less and less like that special kid. Let me tell you. What about so, a uh, score check on yeah. the Dolphins game? What are we at here? Is it yeah, still, it's still going. Last time I checked, I think the Warriors were up, but it could have gone back and forth a full few time Rui, full time yeah. warriors 24 dolphins 20 i wanted the dolphins to get up i did um just cuz it <sighs> you know then that I would i kind of like seeing would the warriors the storm well. that would have overtaken the storm if they got more than a 6 point win or so so anyway quick another close game hey jesus yeah 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 so many close it's, games. It's, it's one of the greatest comps in a, in a long while as far as closeness is concerned. And in the AFL, your Collingwood this ended up kissing the their sister again. Another draw. Kiss the sister. But before we talk about AFL, I just want to yeah. say I watched, um, you know, the um, <clears throat> I almost said press fight, the, 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 the post-game interviews. And, yeah. um, and the Melbourne one, Craig Bellamy said that if they have a five day turnaround, not not yeah. just Melbourne, I, I thought he said no, anyone, anyone, yeah, one of those matches should be a home game. I thought that was really well said and thought about, yeah, you no, know, it was well said, yeah, 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 well, kind of well said. He got there eventually, he yeah. kind of stumbles over his words, yeah. A yeah, lot, but, he was saying, oh, Bellamy, no, but eventually he gets the message across, and he did. Yeah. He got the message across well in the end. Yeah, yeah eventually. Yeah. But um, like, cause our home game was in Brisbane. We're not going to go on about oh, that. No, again. no. Um, and yeah. I think I think a lot Please. of teams, their home game is Brisbane for Magic Round. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. But only one has to play fucking Brisbane. Do you know what I mean? Like if, if if Melbourne is playing, I don't know who they played in um in mm. Brisbane. I can't remember, <laughs> but whoever you play, you know, yeah. if they're not a Queensland team, and it's no advantage mm. either. Do you know? But yeah. if you play fucking, it almost yeah yeah. It almost feels like the NRL is washing Brisbane's car and fluffing their pillow and yeah. making sure their socks are washed for them and yeah. chewing their food and wiping their ass and blowing their nose. So on How and about so we forth. have Magic Round at fucking Brookvale Oval or Four Pines or whatever you want to fucking call it? How about Magic Round comes to fucking Four Pines? How's that sound? Yeah, and fucking Brisbane can magic. call their home game at fucking Four Pines. How about that? You know? Yeah, it wouldn't be magic round then. 
But no. uh, do you want do you want to keep talking in our L or no, AFL no, no, or? Let's, let's go on because um, Aussie yep. rules like yep. you don't get draws, and for mm. a team, I did Google it like draws in AFL. Um, mm. Has been teams GW GWS did it draw twice in a row. Um, yes, in in the hundred and something year history. But regardless, yes. for Collingwood to have, you know, I, I know Collingwood smashed them uh, a couple of weeks ago, but there's been yes. three or four games which is almost a draw and one was a draw. And then for Pies yes. to have another draw, it is unheard of. It's statistically something that doesn't happen often. And yeah, and it, it, it's odd, isn't it? You know, another draw. It is odd. And and Collingwood actually did a bit of a manly. They mm. let the Dockers score four of the last five goals. Yeah. Uh, so, but Collingwood have did a bit of a manly. But, oh. Yeah, they did. But I will say this, despite that, Collingwood have done pretty well to claw their way back because I do believe, I'm pretty sure of this, they lost their first three games. Mm. They've won everything since then, had two draws. Yep. So that's pretty good to get back there. Sydney are on top again, yep. Yep. Uh, 102 to 88. But guess what? The competition isn't won in May. Uh, interestingly enough, Geelong lost again to the Greater Western Sydney, 78 to 74. Yep. And they now slumped to fifth. Yeah. Four weeks ago, they were first. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. they're a bit on the slide. So, uh, oh, yeah, and we, Collingwood. I feel like Collingwood we, got six. Talk, we got to talk about a grand final. Uh, mm -hmm. Did you watch the grand final? You know what sport I'm yes. talking about? I did actually do my homework and watch the grand final. Let's talk did about I... soccer. Yeah, I mean, I'm a massive, hardcore casual. Yeah. And people will be throwing tomatoes at me for my coverage of it because I'll Not be like, Martina. who threw a forward, who threw a forward pass, yeah. <laughs> you know? But no, uh, the Central Coast Mariners 3-1 yep. over the Melbourne victory. Yeah. And I've got to say, we bag out soccer a lot, and you might disagree because we don't always necessarily have to agree on the Red Hot Underdogs, but... I actually thought it was a good game. Yeah. Did you watch it all? I was impressed with it. You know, I did. You? Yeah, me too. It was nail biting. Everything from the uh from the Melbourne victory goal in the fifty first minute, uh, scored by Jason Garrier, I think his name is. I might be wrong with my pronunciation. Oh, I don't know. And 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 there was uh two goals scored by an English striker who plays for Central Coast called Ryan Edmondson. So, you know, I, I thought I'd better come up with some names for the game and the coverage. I watched the game. And, I remember, uh, uh, Drew, yeah. it was about 25 minutes in or so, there was mm. a, a head clash and players went down. I didn't even know it was a head. Yeah. And yeah. The first thought is, which is everybody is like, ah, oh, get the fuck up you know like now i have to watch another fucking you know hour and a bit of these fucking girls like pretending they're hurt and within a second yeah. or so there was just fucking blood going everywhere do you remember that and they were yeah i think the and, and the guy ran out with the with the bandage and a little bit of maybelline yeah yeah to put around yeah. his uh, top but you know all good yeah. Uh, it look and Central Coast. I've, I've got to give them credit. They look completely gone. Yeah. They hung in, hung in. They didn't give it away. They knew it was the final game, yep. and scoring at the death to put it into extra time. Yep. And amazing. Um, we, amazing. We, why were you going to cent for Central Coast and not Melbourne? Why? Because I live in New South Wales. Okay. Simple as that. Oh, I'm not going for those Mexicans. What, what, Look, why should... am I crossing the border to go for the Mexicans? Hello. How are you going? Good to see you. Hey. Well, as I was watching oh, that game last night, Ariana was lying down and I was giving her a head massage. 
That's good. I need a new T-shirt, Drew. She's why? Oh, very nice. Thirty. There uh, you go. Coles or uh, sorry, uh, Kmart or Best and Less. Lowe's. <clears throat> oh, Lowe's. Okay. Up at two places, Lowe's and Vinnie's, but Vinnie's is too expensive now, so I just go to Lowe's. Five minutes. Wow, yeah. I never, I never actually thought that I'd hear the sentence. Vinnie's was too expensive. Too expensive. There you go. Lowe's is cheaper, mate. Lowe's is cheaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So now but, just... but you know what? For for soccer, pretty good game. Yeah, good game. I'm not a big soccer fan, but it was a bit of back and forth and, and you know, I, I can't funny? yeah. Um, like when the, the the final whistle went and it was, you know, um what's it called? Mm. Extra time for fifteen minutes, yes. not fifteen minutes. Yes. Everybody running onto the field like we were at Brookvale Oval in nineteen eighty five. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. It was a shout back to yesteryear. It was a bit of nostalgia. Nostalgia, you know. You can tip your hat to it because, yeah, it brought you back to memory lane, which was yeah. awesome. And um, but, uh, I think yeah. I did that with the whole Buddy Franklin thousand mm. goals uh, that he got, mm. um, which was a couple of years ago now. And yes, and. I I could remember as a kid, like the memories yeah. come back of running on the field and how exciting it was. I understand why they've stopped that. Like it's not too safe for players because opponents can, yeah. and, and you know people can be psychopaths, um, and yeah. and everything. But geez, mm. did they that they were allowing that, or it just happened. I don't know. I look, there's a possibility it might have just happened. I, I don't know. Oh, I, I couldn't speak for it. I'm not sure. But what I do like is I actually do like it. Yeah. I do remember back in the day, and you as a kid, you felt, wow, I'm actually running on the field where the big men played. Yeah. And yeah. then you kind of had a little dream that, hey, maybe you could do this one day yeah. until you actually played in a team and realized how much you sucked. Yeah. But yeah. despite that, uh, it was a good game and it was good to see Central Coast score two goals in extra time. And I'm just so glad we beat those Mexicans down yeah. there. Yeah, you know yeah. what? They're, yeah. they're, you know, yeah. Everybody from Melbourne, except Grovesy, my mate, they're all wankers. Yeah. You know, they really yeah. are. They really are. The whole place. And I've also got some interesting news. Yep. Jake Travoyevich is set to become New South Wales captain oh, for the state I, of origin. I knew that they'd, they'd take him because he he played really well. Um, mm. And um, what, sorry, who was the other forward? Olakuatu? Hang it? on. Yeah, yeah Olakuatu. So Have they chosen think... him? That they it gets chosen soon, probably while we're doing this podcast. At, oh. at six o'clock tonight, the team gets chosen. But here's an interesting bit of information. Yeah. Okay. So with Jake Travoyevich, the new captain, yeah. I have a slight not necessarily conspiracy theory, because other people are also thinking this. Yeah. There is the prospect of fullback Dylan Edwards being chosen over former captain James Tedesco. Oh. And Dylan Edwards, his form for the Panthers in the fullback position has been top shelf. So there is a real possibility that he might take James Tedesco's spot. Yeah. Okay. Wouldn't wouldn't that be wouldn't that be like interesting? Like somebody actually takes the captain's spot. Yeah, because of good form. That that's not heard of very often. Mm. It's happened in sport before, but not very often. Yeah, but I think it's more yeah, likely it'll happen in Origin because it's a once a year for a few games thing, though. You know, like yeah. Um, well, I just see Queensland winning that. New South Wales just have too many injuries. The one positive for New South Wales is that Cameron Munster got injured last week. So, hey, Manly did one good thing for New South Wales. They injured Cameron Munster. Who, I wish no ill towards Cameron Munster. Does, Speedy um, recovery and all, but I'm glad you're playing for Queensland. Manly plays uh, the Panthers 
when the origin's on is that right so uh yeah i i believe manly have the buy next week yeah. yep and then i think origin is the fifth yeah okay uh, okay so yeah i think yeah, so the next, the next game after is panthers yeah i mean i apologize because all the days roll into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for me. I actually couldn't tell you what date it is today. Yeah, no, I don't know what date it is. But I'm just a regular dude that works a job and lives for the freaking weekend. Yeah, yeah. That's so, what I'm all about. I'm good, coming good. after all of that smoke. Yeah, yep. that's no, right. It's good. Yeah. Well so <laughs> the origin and then Manly's by this weekend, then the origin yes. and then yeah. – then, um, Panthers. So, I mean, there's a big chance that Panthers have even more players out than Manly. I mean, geez, we're going to have a few out. Yeah. Like, yeah. But, but, but Pan Panthers will. I, I think that's a real opportunity for us to collect another two points. Yeah. And in this competition, collecting two points for any side is absolutely massive. Massive. Because there are so many wins and losses and Every team is like a bumbling fool that can't get it together. Every team, except maybe about three teams maximum. Yeah. Maybe four if you're being generous. But well, all the rest is win, loss, win, loss, 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 win. You know? Well, you don't want to be playing like, say, Warriors. You know, if if, if we're manly and we're playing, mm. the, it's like both of us have lost players. But say someone like yeah. the Warriors would have, like maybe lost less. I notice you're wearing a New Zealand shirt. What's with that? Let's have a look. No, I don't know New Zealand 2018. It's I a guess. Lowe's job. I, I I got it from Lowe's, funnily enough, like you. Yeah. I uh yeah. It's actually a weird story. I I I spilt something on my shirt while I was at the mall one day. It was actually a Slurpee. Yep. And it was a white shirt. Yep. And it had a lot of rainbow colours on it after the Slurpee. So I actually walked into Lowe's and bought this grey New Zealand shirt for about eight, about $10. Yep. Well spent. So, but it's been good ever since. You know, it's, I'm not even getting any holes in it. I don't wear it very often because I don't like to promote New Zealand because I'm an Aussie, but yeah. I'll wear it for the podcast. Yeah, it, it's done well yeah. for 10 bucks. What happened to your yeah. other shirt that got all... Uh... You're slushy on it. What happened there? Or Slurpee? Oh, that was, yeah, no, that was in the bin. I wasn't even going to take it home. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you, you binned it there in the Lowe's. Yeah, bin. that got yeah that got disposed of. That's you're, all right. Like, walk in, look, you're like, look at me, look at me, look at me, and yeah, yeah. walk uh, and binned it. Oh, it can, it can live to fight another day. It was just could've a plain white shirt. You, I bet you could have. Oh, you, eh, maybe could have. I really didn't want to walk back around within my hand i i don't know i just i really wasn't thinking about it that much at the time maybe i should have maybe i was a bit too hasty but yeah hey. i think you're too hasty you know you well could... you know life is full of good and bad decisions and i i think i've learned something here not to be so wasteful in the future so Thank you for showing me the error of my ways. And I promise on behalf of you and everyone else to do better next time. Next time. And what, what did the shirt say that you threw away? Do you remember that? Nothing. It was just a straight white shirt. Straight white shirt. I didn't even, and I didn't even like the shirt because I hate the colour white, even yeah. though technically white isn't a colour because it's not yeah. on the colour spectrum. Yeah. It's yeah. a shade. Yes. Oh. There you go. Yeah. yeah. But we don't need to know about the, uh, artistic elements and principles of design because that'll just put everyone to sleep. But yeah, that was the story anyway. Great podcast, Louie. Awesome. What a great thank week. you, buddy. Beautiful. Week.